Hello, it is me, your teacher, Mr. Marcel Paul, teaching history at St. Peter Clever High School. Welcome to this class. Dear viewers, we are proceeding with our history sessions, and today we are going to see a very small part of our topic number three in history paper one, that is the people of African origin in the new world. So the part we are going to see today is what we call the problems encountered by the people of African origin in the new world. The problems encountered by the people of African origin in the new world. Now, we, we do remember that um, after being uprooted from Africa, from their motherlands, Africans were deployed in different uh, parts of uh, America and the Caribbean island, working in plantations, working in mining centers, and many other economic activities that were established right there. Now, today what we're going to see is to evaluate the problems faced by the people of African origin in the New World. And we are generally saying that uh, people of African origin were encountering different social, political, and economic injustice in America. And the following are some of the problems encountered by the people of African origin during their slavery activities and even after the abolition of slave trade, black people continue suffering from different uh, problems. So the following are the problems that people of African origin suffered from. One, black people were denied uh, their civil rights. And when we talk of the civil rights, we are essentially talking of the freedom of press, freedom of association, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, and even freedom uh, to freely participate in political activities or political affairs. So the people of African origin were not recognized as a legal citizen of the United States of America, even after the end of slavery. Therefore, they are denied, they, they are not protected by the laws and denied the right to freely and equally participate in political matters like the right to vote or to be voted. Thus, they could neither, they could neither run any political office nor being represented in the parliament or in the congress. It was only during the reign of Abraham Lincoln when blacks or some changes were adapted, especially during the 19, I mean 1863, some changes were, were, were adapted, including the, the abolition of slavery in the United States. But after the, 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 the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, in April 14, 1865, blacks lost again their political rights. So in the United States, and America at large, black people were denied their political rights. We may take a simple example from the right to vote and to be voted. Black people had no chance to, to vote or even to, to be voted. And to ensure that black people had denied these particular rights, Americans whites introduced different mechanisms to ensure that blacks had denied their right to vote and to be voted. For example, they introduced the so-called uh, literacy test, where blacks were tested across numerous, I mean, different skills, like reading and writing skills. So if you, you don't know how to read and how to write, you had no an opportunity to vote or to be voted. So it was an attempt to make blacks lose these, uh, these civil rights, and most especially, the right to vote and to be, to be voted. So that is one. But number two, there is the so-called intensive exploitation. Black people also suffered from untold exploit—I mean exploitation. They suffered from untold expl exploitation through long working hours, child labor, and even working with no wages. 
it should be remembered that Africans were working for more than 14 hours a day. And sometimes they were employing a very, I mean, a young people. The child of 13 were overworked. And since the blacks were slaves, they were not paid at all. So this also is one of the very big problems that people of African origin were suffering from in the new world. Number three, there is the question of racial discrimination or racial segregation. It was by law legal to segregate black people in all spheres of life. Black people were discriminated not just because of the character of their content, but just because of the color of their skins. And they are segregated across all social, political, and economic life. For example, they are segregated in schools, in shops, in buses, and different other public facilities. They are se segregated. But the reason why blacks were segregated, it was because they were black in color. In that case, there were different public facilities for blacks and for the whites. So it was a major problem of blacks after being uprooted in the, I mean, uh, to the new world. So they suffered from racial segregation and racial discrimination. Number four, blacks also, they were denied the right to own properties. Now, the properties we are talking about, one is land and house. Now, it should be remembered that um, when we talk of the land, we are talking of the essential factor of economic production. Without land, you will never realize economic development in any society and any environment. So if you block blacks to own land, it was an attempt to make blacks a poor, to make black live in an absolute poverty. But also, blacks were denied the right to own the so-called uh, houses. If you deny blacks to own house, it means you want blacks to live in a very poor conditions. So in, in, in that way, the, I mean the, the idea here, or the intention of the whites to, to deny blacks the right to own property was actually to make, um, uh, to, 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 to make blacks continue living in an absolute poverty and continue also being dependent on American whites. And if blacks continue being uh, dependent automatically, they perpetuate, it, they will be able to perpetuate uh, the so-called uh, exploitation. It was, for example, due to this particular reason, where Martin Luther King during the civil rights movement advocated and appealed for the ownership of properties to Africans as how other races owned. Also, Afro-Americans were not allowed to join any trade unions where they could struggle collectively for their economic rights. So you have then blacks to own these essential property, I mean economic properties, but at the same time, you have blocked them to join their hands in trade unions to fight collectively for their, poly, I mean, for their economic rights. Number five, also blacks lacked security at work. Afro-Americans were not insured and not provided with the protective gears like boots and gloves. And this, however, made them vulnerable to accidents. They also had poor accommodation and transport. So they, 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 they lacked security at work. 
Number six, blacks were denied better social services. Africans in the New World were provided with poor social services like health and education to keep them under poor living standard and maintain their dependence on whites. So the intention of gaining blacks better social services was to ensure that blacks continuously live in a poor living standard and maintain their dependence on whites. And if you continue depending on whites automatically, you will be subjected into intensive exploitation. Another problem that the blacks suffered from is what we call uh, they were subjected to foreign culture. And this is also uh, very essential to understand that uh, during the time of slavery, African slaves were forced to abandon, to abandon their original culture and adapt their master's language, culture, and even Christian, Christian identity. The slave master, for example, put their names on their slaves and forced them to abandon their traditional names. Those caught practicing their culture, like speaking their vernacular languages and religion, were heavily punished. In that way, there was no an opportunity for the blacks to enhance their culture. In that way, they made African slavery of their own culture. And number eight, it is violence. One of the big problems that the blacks suffered from is what we call violence. And this violence were from individual, were from police, were from anti-blacks paramilitary organizations like the Ku Klux Klan, KKK, and even the mob racial violence. For example, leeching, beatings, whippings, tearing, and feathering became a usual practice on Africans. For example, between 1885 and 1927, over 2,700 black people were lynched in southern states of the United States. So, dear viewers, when we talk of the problems that the black people were suffering from, we are talking of the social, political, and economic injustice that people of African origin were, were facing in the new world. And these problems undermined their rights. At the end, black people lived in a miserable life, a life that was against humanity, a life that didn't restore the so-called human dignity. So thank you very much.